it's, it's again, when you feel like um, when you have confidence, I had confidence we're going to make the fourth and two. I think we made, we had two fourth and ones that we were, um, you know, successful with. And, you know, we, we have a plan going into the game of, hey, what's the yardage that we want to be aggressive and go for? And at that moment, it was two yards. And um, I was really confident how the defense was playing. And they, and they, they played well afterwards. The guy made a 56 yard field goal. Um, that's a heck of a, a kick. And so, um, again, hindsight, you don't make it, you know, but, um, I want to continue to be aggressive. I want a team to be aggressive. We have to be aggressive and aggressive mentality, and, uh, and, and that was a, a reflection of that. It's one thing to feel like you have a great call, but it still has to be executed. When your team goes out there and executes, especially in those clutch moments when you hadn't executed particularly well at other times, you know, what do you take from that? What do you learn? How much confidence maybe does it keep you moving forward? Yeah, I mean, we played lights out the first half, um, especially offensively. I want to go back and it's hard when you're out there um, trying to stay focused on every single play. Um, I want to go back and, and see it was, it was good. We, we were aggressive, threw some deep balls, got success in running, passing in. Um, second half, we weren't, we weren't successful. Um, punt, punt, turnover on downs. You know, and then Jay Love has a great play. Um, it was something we on all week. Um, that was a big screen. And uh, we knew after that first down, after the time that we were going to call that. So, again, let's evaluate it. Um, continue to be aggressive. Both sides of the ball, but especially offensively. Riley, he, he, he had a great week. And then Leonard Moore ends up leading with tackles in his first career start. What kind of way did you know you'd have to go to him? And what kind of example does that set for everybody? Yeah, Christian was going to try to go. Um, you know, he had a shoulder strain and, and shoulder sprain. Um, and he was going to try to go. We thought he would be able to go after uh, you know, pregame, you know, pregame warm up. Just, what he meant, you know, he did the job done for what we needed to do. So uh, we went to Leonard, and uh, we had a lot of confidence in Leonard, and Leonard played really well. Until Riley got uh, banged up there in the second quarter, he was probably playing his best football of the year. Um, you know, how fine is the line between, you know, stay, staying with him, um, knowing that it, things are a little bit limited offensively, or it, did the two-score lead in the defense just dictate the approach that you took in the second half? Yeah, I mean, after the first half, I think we were up 24 to 14. Um, I thought our offense played lights out the first half, so there was no even consideration of changing quarterbacks going in the second half. We, we didn't have a lot of success in the second half. And, you know, I said, you don't blame the quarterback. That's what, we, that's what you do. You're supposed to, right? If you don't blame the that's what you're supposed to do. That's why we're in these positions. But, um, we'll go back and see what decisions Riley made in the second half that weren't good, but you know, he played really well in that first half. Our whole entire offense played good in the second half. And so um, it's easy to come to the Riley, but uh, you know, I'm proud of the way he performed today. Um, and then the offense, I think, 